Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions. Now there's been a lot of noise recently as you may have heard about the fact that Unified Protect is going to be able to use third party cameras using OnViv. And I was very excited to hear about this because it's really helpful for lots of our lots of our projects, including myself at my in my own home. Um, and uh, then today on Reddit, I read that in fact on the new early release, it was already possible to integrate third-party cameras. So I've jumped onto my dream machine and I've given it a go. So I thought I'd share that with you and see how we get on. There is a couple of bits that I haven't really worked out yet because I've literally just done it, but um, I'm really interested to know how the notification is going to work and if there's going to be any crossover from the cameras to the Unify. At the moment, I've only worked out how to get the live feeds. I haven't really looked at the kind of, you know, line crossings, for example, coming over from Hikvision. So that is something I will try and find out more about and whether or not it's going to be possible or whether or not it's not at all possible. I don't know, but it's certainly something I'll look into. Okay, so let's get on with it. Okay, so I'm on my Dream Machine Pro SE, and what I had to do was I had to. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm on my Dream Machine Pro SE, and what I had to do was I had to put this onto early release. So I'll just select early release here, and then uh, apply that, and it will um, it will install that update. And we're on 4.0.19. Obviously, this will be on general release soon, but at the time of this video, we're still on early release. And then I also had to update Protect, so that's on 5.0.21. That's all I had to do from this side. And then protect is very simple. So I'll just go into the system and go to settings. And then in settings, you've got this little tick box here that says discover third party cameras. So I'll just click that, press apply changes. And then if I go to my devices here, I'm unified devices, but in fact, we've got all of my OnVIF devices. So I've got quite a lot of Hikvision um, here, and I've also got a couple of little Wi-Fi cameras um, just around the place. So if I just select one of these, let's, uh, let's pick this one here. And all I have to do is put in my credentials for that camera. So I'll just type that in now. Press that, and then it takes it online. So basically I can click on that, and you can see that already it's it's come straight up the feeds there um, and I've got it added to my system which is really really simple um, so ooh, it was really simple yeah so it's all um, it's all there we've got the feed basically in terms of settings this is what I've still got to learn a bit so if I put Hikvision front camera I can change the alias uh, nice and easily there the, the thing that I didn't know and that I'm trying to work out and I haven't quite got there yet so it's going to take a little bit of work is how or if we can integrate the notification settings so at the moment I've got uh, I've got line crossing set on this camera but trying to get that line crossing to come into uh, the Unify I haven't worked that bit out yet so if I go to manage alarms here I've got all my sort of standard Unify stuff here but if I go to create alarm um, and I can just call this Hick test. If I go to the definition, line crossing is there, but I think this only applies to unified cameras. So I'll put that there. I've included all devices and I want it to send a notification uh, and that'll be it. So we'll just press create on that. But when I did this earlier, in fact you can see there, I've, still, I've done it earlier, but um, when I tried to do this earlier, I went outside to try and test it and I couldn't get a, a notification of this so there's a little bit more work to do on trying to figure out if it is possible to put these notifications through the Unify system but at the moment just having the live view is a huge plus for me um, it just makes things a lot easier for me um, because I have got this one little Unify camera that's not actually doing much at the moment but most of my stuff on the house is Hikvision um, and certainly for a lot of my customers It'd be really nice if they've already got some sort of uh, on VIF cameras to be able to add them to the Unify system. So more to come on this in the future once we work out a little bit more on how we integrate it properly and not just having the live view but also getting all the other bits and pieces in. This is early release and as we saw this is a labs so they are working on this but this is a very exciting development for Unify. Okay, so that was it. Really nice and simple to get those cameras into Unified Protect. Obviously, a little bit of work to do on the notifications, and I'm going to look into that further, and hopefully I'll be able to come back to you with some additional information. 
Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.